Welcome to Valor Otherworld, where I'm bringing you my 10 favourite locations around County Clare. We are going to see the entire county, from the great castles, to the cliffs, to the lakes and monasteries. There is so much for us to explore here, and what better time for you to come out and discover what Ireland has to offer. What are you waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> We're going to kick things off at Loophead Lighthouse. As you can see, it is an absolutely breathtaking place to visit. You have these magnificent cliffs. And we actually have spotted some dolphins in the distance, diving and actually jumping out of the water below us. Down to the south, we can see the McGillicuddy Reeks from County Kerry rising up out of the ocean. And... If you fancy a swim, there are some excellent diving spots. But my favourite has to be a little bit south of here at the Bridges of Ross. Moving now from Loop Head on to Killone Abbey, just outside of the town of Ennis. This is must see. It is a secluded site and there's a little bit of a walk involved, but it is well worth it. You pass a beautiful waterfall, you pass through these woods where they have pine martens and badgers and foxes, and then you get down to the abbey itself. The abbey has crypts intact, and it actually has a secret staircase leading up to the ramparts, which are now in ruin. You also have a beautiful lake glistening just below the abbey, and it is well worth a swim there. Behind the abbey you also even have Holy Well, which was very, very important for centuries. And you can actually do a walk all the way back to Ennis if you're interested in taking the time to do so. And now we're going to move straight on to the next destination, Bonratty Castle. Bonratty Castle is one of the most popular destinations to visit in Ireland. It is one of the largest medieval castles in existence today. You're able to explore the entirety of the castle from the base all the way up to the ramparts. You can also explore the moat and the old fortifications that surround it. It is beautiful and well worth taking the time to see. When you're finished up at the castle, there is a whole folk park to explore afterwards in several acres of grounds, which have reconstructed village, the old church, the old manor house, the walled gardens, and so much more. There are old style shops to interact with and a pet farm with the Irish Wolfhounds Maeve and Saoirse are always very happy to welcome guests. There is so much to do here that it is suitable for all ages and if you have kids with you they have an excellent playground and other amenities to entertain them including the fairy walks. Now we're going to continue moving east and closer to County Limerick to the famous Cratlow Woods. Cratlow Woods sit on the beautiful hills in East Clare overlooking Limerick City. These hills and the forests here go back for hundreds if not thousands of years and you can feel that in the atmosphere when you are walking beneath their boughs. There are several trails you can take depending on how far you're willing to go and you also have the option just to head off and forge your own path through the forests. There is even a park at the start of the trails which has a playground which is great entertainment for the kids and there's a site there where you can have a barbecue or bring your own picnic so well worth a visit. Moving away from Cratlow Woods we're going to stay in East Clare and just move north past Loch Derg and up to Mount Shannon. Now there are loads of places along Loch Derg to visit. You could spend the day and they're absolutely magnificent. But my favourite is Mount Shannon because it has this awesome park. They don't just have a playground there. They don't just have the green areas. They actually have a maze, a maze where you can just get lost and explore and it is just the best fun. You also have the beautiful harbour there and you have loads of water activities, areas to swim and you can actually go out and visit Holy Island on the lake. So definitely, definitely a must when visiting County Clare. Let's move back further into the heartlands of County Clare. Moving on now, we're going to stop by in Craganone, and this is really something to behold. 
you don't just have the castle, you have so much more. There are reconstructed Cranogs and ring forts here. In the ring forts, you're actually able to go up on their defences and you can take the time to use the escape tunnel to see how people would have escaped any attackers. Often there are animators there bringing you really into the world of Celtic Ireland. There are also old roads, reconstructions of Fulloch Fias and wedge tombs and dolmens which have been laid out on the trail as you walk up along the road. Beautiful area, well worth a visit and you do it at your own pace. They even have at the top of the hill a reconstructed boat from St. Brendan's voyage. This boat was used to simulate the journey which St. Brendan was supposed to have taken and you're sure to run across several animals on your route. There's always something exciting around each corner. We're moving on now to Lamine Castle, one of the most haunted sites in all of Ireland. This ruin once stood as the gateway into the burn. And the lady who ruled here was Moira Rua, Red Mary. We will be doing a full video on her in the lead up to Halloween this year. But for now, you will actually feel the atmosphere and you can sense her spirit still here. Many people claim to have seen her ghost in these halls. It is a quick stop on your journey, but one that you really shouldn't miss especially if you're moving in or out of the burn area. We finally made it to the Cliffs of Moher, possibly the most famous site in all of Ireland. These cliffs run almost 10 kilometers long. The most popular place to visit is at the tourist center, which is around halfway point. You can also walk up to the cliffs from the village of Doolan to the north, but my favourite place is to go from Hag's Head. Hag's Head sits at the south side of the cliffs and for me it is the best area because it is always the quietest. It is the one that is least disturbed and you really get to take the time to experience where you are. It's great for any kind of weather, but if you get it on a sunny day, there is nowhere else in the world that can match its views. Now, a trip to County Clare would not be complete if you didn't talk about the burn. And my favourite place to explore is Mullock Moor, the mountain in the burn. There are countless different routes you can take and all of them lead you to hidden secrets across the land. As you can see, breathtaking views and somewhere to explore where you'll interact with nature, wild animals and goats, and you might even discover a cave or two on your travels. This is somewhere you truly can't replicate anywhere else in the world and something you should definitely take the time to visit. We're finishing at the very tip of County Clare, which borders County Galway. Many people actually do consider it part of Galway. It is another very quiet place and often missed by tourists and visitors to County Clare. But you get beautiful views back over the hills of the Burren behind you, as well as to the front, beautiful views of Galway Bay. There are excellent areas to swim here, even better places to get food, and you can again take your own trail. You can go and explore the Martello Towers in the area, or you can just go for a swim. Whatever you want to do, there is nowhere better when the weather is good than visiting County Clare. <laughs>